Welcome back to another video. We are in Kigali, Rwanda. And if you see behind me, this is the richest neighborhood. Welcome back. So I want to take you through uh, the richest neighborhood, how the rich live in Kigali. These are very beautiful houses. And Vikazo, Vikazo told me this is a nearly, nearly built uh, houses. It's a, a new uh, neighborhood. So I want to take you through and you see how these places, look at the cleanliness of this area. Live along the city, even in the outcasts, everywhere is clean. Karibu, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are new to this channel, Karibu sana, welcome. So guys, this uh, we are walking with Vikazo. You already know him now, by now. <laughs> He's a uh, Radiz. In fact, he should introduce himself. Oh, I'm Fikazo Traveler, a content creator from Kigali, Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> so we are walking uh, in the richest neighborhood. Yes, of course. Uh, you told me this area is... Uh, which area? This area for rich mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh -huh. It's called the Gachuriro. Mm. So most of you, you know, it's a uh, rich... Richest neighborhood. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the area is all tarmac. It's green. Mm. There's mansions. Yeah. There's, you can see the mansion uh, <laughs> on the on that side. There's a beautiful apartments in the area. So, the, the green. How green it's. How how do they maintain this? I can say it's like um, when you build a nice house in Rwanda, mm. it's a must to put a. Uh, a garden, you know, yeah, or flowers mm -hmm. or some trees, beautiful. Things. So, is it everywhere? All the because uh, you have visited many uh richest neighborhoods, mm. are they all maintained like this? I've taken you to different places, and yeah, you've seen flowers, and uh, yeah, gardens everywhere, even in the city, <laughs> even alongside the road. <laughs> You know, yeah. So it's um, we try to make it a green country. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, and then that's why they they keep these flowers. Mm. They watering it. They do what, just to keep it, to keep the environment. You know, environment. Uh, all the fresh air. Uh -huh. And these plants, they help us to live. You know. Yeah. So we respect the plants. Here. At this place also, we have. Um, it's very easy to get a net, uh, network internet. Mm. There is uh, different types of internet here. All of them are wire cables. So yeah. each and every house? Yes. You know, like on this... This, this is a new house they are building. Yeah, this is a new house they are building, but... Mm. Um, what, how do you call this? <laughs> this thing. <laughs> the post. Okay, you see this post? Mm. Up there, there's cables for internet, yeah, you know, yeah. where you can get internet easily for you. Okay. And there's other cables that pass underground, you know. So when for... we need the internet here, uh, it's very easy. So uh, internet in Kigari is uh, everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. And then uh, people are trying to adapt, you know. Uh, yes, I can't say the whole country, they have internet, you know, but in Kigali... Uh, People are adapting that, you know, they have internet in their homes. And yeah. even those who do not have the cables, they can uh, afford at least to maintain the data. Yeah, the data are yeah, cheap. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which uh, one cent you can get, get that. We are on the road. From one cent you can get that. Yeah, okay. This place is safe. Uh -huh. The whole country is safe. Uh -huh. And then. It's a gated community. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's safe. So if you want to live in Kigali as a rich person, this is the place. To the place. And also, so it's very near to the city. It's near to the international schools. Uh -huh. It's near to the city center. Uh -huh. It's near to the supermarkets. You have everything here. Okay. Yeah. So let's move forward and see. Uh, I can see even the, the like. The fences are so, so well maintained. Of course. <laughs> the green, the green city. This is a green city. Green Do you live in this uh, neighborhood? Yeah. Do you live in this neighborhood? Me? Yeah. 
I'm not that here, chat. I'm not that new that <laughs> I'm not at that level. Uh-huh. But even where I live, also it's green. Because you have Matoke there. <laughs> so better to stay where there's Matoke because you're going to. That's why you look healthy. Yeah, we have a farm of Matoke, so it's green, you know. We yeah. have uh, beans. We have. <laughs> you, we have everything we... there. Yeah. So it's not Tamak as this, mm-hmm. but it's also in the city. And it's uh, <laughs> there's a lot to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you get that house. It looks nice. And this place is so quiet. Very I quiet. think the rich people don't like the noise. The rich don't like noise. Uh-huh. They like to sleep in a quiet place. To access the internet. Of course. To do their work. Yes, of course. <laughs> Maybe I should their privacy. Which kind of privacy? <laughs> so most of them are rented or they, they are owned. Most, most of these houses, are they rented or they are owned? Uh, most of these houses, they are owned by renters. Okay, but still they are rentals. But also the foreigners come and buy. Okay. Everything to buy here. There are a lot of things to buy. Oh, all right. Yeah. Because uh, I used I used to help some people to get plots and uh, houses here. Uh. So even foreigners can buy the house here uh. in Rwanda uh. and even the plots. Okay, so even the majority, if they they are not citizens. The majority mm-hmm. are the locals. Yeah. Uh, okay. What if we are not a uh, citizen? Can you buy a house? No, you can buy it. If you, if you live like you from Kenya, uh-huh. you can buy a house here. Oh. Yeah. So you're in a position to help someone get... Uh, yeah, if you want a land, a uh, house, a BNB apartment here in Rwanda, uh-huh. contact me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of, because of traveler will make you have a place in Uganda, in Rwanda. Oh my God, in Rwanda. <laughs> no comparison, no, no. It's still a green country. I can see the dogs. They are going for a walk. Hey, this is for the rich. And they have someone to take care of them. Yeah. So during this hour is the time for for a walk for the dogs. <laughs> we are also taking a walk. <laughs> Look at this place. So you can maybe sit here. It's a small park. Yeah. We can come and see. Let's take a, a seat. We have walked a lot. It's so cool. Huh? It's so cool and so quiet. Yes. So just sit here.
truth to lies You gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and your blood And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Empty hearts 